Ew, porridge. It's so disgusting and tasteless. Don't want it. And noise, but there's no fight? Grandma, I'm coming. The photo is great. Little sister. Who's I'm shouting? I'm coming. <gasps> oh, chef. I'm running. I'll flip over. What is it? Why is my grandson crying? This forest is just awful. Then try this. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, cook whatever you want. What does my grandson want? French fries. Great. I'll cook the most delicious potatoes. First, you need to pour the oil into the pan. And now cut the potatoes and fry them properly. Grandma, it doesn't really look like french fries. <laughs> For the best. <laughs> then I'll win this round. <laughs> so, I'm going to peel the potatoes. Oh, um, it didn't work out very well. We need a special oh. peeler. Yes! Now it's going to work. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's how you need to cut potatoes. One, two, and you're done. And no one makes fries in a frying pan. After all, this is a deep fryer. We put potatoes and fry it in oil. There we go. Just look at this golden crust. Great. Oh, where are my potatoes? Did I peel it all off? What do I do? Don't worry, dear. But what potatoes are without sauce? Ketchup is not for me. I'm the chef. And all the best chefs in the world cook tomato paste on their own. Well, here's a masterpiece. Perfect french fries. Everyone has already fried the potatoes and I have these skins. What do I do? I know. Why suffer if you can just order delivery? And here are the potatoes. Oh. Mm, homemade potatoes. French fries from the chef. Wow, so many delicious things. Except for this one. Mm, and these potatoes look delicious. I'll try it. Oh, how spicy! I don't want spicy. What do we have here? Mmm, delicious! I like these french fries! Mm. Hooray, I won! That's it! So, so, what are we cooking now? I want scrambled eggs! Ah. Easy! Every dish should be cooked with love. Therefore, my scrambled eggs will be in the shape of a heart. You need to fry the sausages and then break the egg. It turned out just wonderful. Awesome! The bigger the fire, the faster it gets fried, right? The stove to the maximum, and now the egg. Oh, um, the shell has fallen. Maybe it'll be unnoticeable. It's even better this way. No, you can still see the shell. We need to come up with something. I'll mix it up. Oh, honey, something's obviously gone wrong. Then I'll add milk. Now you definitely can't see anything. Watch and learn. This is how real chefs cook. Down with a frying pan, we're going to need a toaster. I'll chop the onion and garlic. Then an avocado. I'll mix it all together. Great. And now I'll use a blender. It turned out great. We need to spread it on the toast. Like that. Now it's the egg time. One will be quite enough. I'll break it into a bowl. And put the bowl in a saucepan with boiling water. That's what a wonderful egg I got. It remains only to serve the dish beautifully. Amazing! 
the final touch. Like that. Wow, it turned out to be really cool. I need to serve a dish too. Ketchup and mussels will do. Honey, are you sure? Ready? We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't look good. Wow, a heart! Grandma, this fried egg is definitely yours. Down with a fork. I want to take it with my hands. Mmm, delicious. Mm. And what do we have here? It looks interesting. And the taste? Mmm, yeah, something strange. Granny definitely won. Oh, grandson, I'm so glad. What are we going to cook this time? Pizza. Okay. Pizza? Something complicated. And how do I cook it? Probably need to knead the dough. Mm, it worked. Or not really. Oh, uh, why is it so sticky? Well, well, I have an idea. Take my dough, dear. Thank you, Grandma. But what about you? Oh. It doesn't matter. I'll need a new dough. All you need to do is mix a few ingredients. And I'll pour the finished dough into a hot frying pan. It'll turn out to be a wonderful pizza base. Then I'll pour ketchup and add healthy vegetables. And some cheese. While there, it remains only to wait. Yeah, who cooks pizza like that? Special corn flour is needed for the base. Only professionals like me know this. Then knead the dough. And now we need to form the bases. To do this, let's fly the dough. Wow. Oh, I want it that way too. Come on, fly. Oops, it fell. Well, now it's all dirty. How to fix it? I know, a little disguise won't hurt. A little ketchup. A little bit of olives next. Pepper. And sausages. And now you can fold everything. And of course, press it down. What a nightmare. I wish I hadn't seen it. Down with the vegetables. Tomato paste, pepperoni, and cheese. Nothing superfluous. And now I'll put the pizza in the microwave. Let it bake. It will turn out incredibly good. A microwave oven? The toaster will be enough. I would like to stuff it. Mm, yeah, it didn't turn out how I expected. And I did it perfectly. However, it couldn't be otherwise. Here's my pizza. Here is mine. And my masterpiece. Well, let's try. It seems that someone wanted to poison me. This is terrible. But this looks good. I'll try it. And it tastes pretty good. Wow! Mmm, this pizza is just perfect. And the most delicious one! Who else could have won if not me? Come on! I want pancakes. I'm a pancake master. Easy. I'll make the fire stronger. Great. And now carefully pour out the dough. It is very important to turn it over on time. I don't understand why you should make a lot of small pancakes if you could just make one big one. Besides, an ordinary pancake is boring. But with gummies… It's just great. Mm. Oh, the gummies have melted. Yeah, who would have thought? Okay, I'll make another pancake. This time with M&Ms. And another one with multicolored sprinkles. And I'll pour maple syrup on the pancakes. And they're good. Well, we must not lag behind. I know. If you add Nutella to the dough, the dough will turn out to be chocolate. The main thing is to mix well. And I'll put a piece of chocolate in the center. Great. 
The chocolate is melting right in the center. Turn it over. Wait a little. Great. Berries to decorate pancakes. And now I'll pour strawberry syrup on top. Just wonderful. It looks perfect. Ready? Baked with love. The best pancakes in the world. You like mine the most. That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. Ugh. It's disgusting. And Granny's pancakes? Mmm. Delicious. So, so. What has the chef prepared? Mmm. Great. But Grandma won anyway. Hooray! So many products! And that's great! I'm sure you'll be able to cook me something with it. And more importantly, a pasta. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. I wonder where to start. I'll probably take spaghetti. I think they need to be shoved in the water. That's it. But why don't they fit? I'll try to do it with a spoon. <gasps> I came up with something. I need a different approach. I'll just break the spaghetti in half. Poor chain. How incompetent you are. I should have paid more attention to you. You need to take spaghetti, gently put it in hot water, and wait a little until they soften and completely immerse them into the pan. Grandma, you shouldn't teach a girl. She needs to take an example from professionals. I will cook homemade noodles. They're much better than store-bought ones. To do this, I will need premium flour, an egg, and a little salt. I'll knead it properly. And the dough is ready. I want to paint it black, and for this, I'll use cold fish ink. It's completely safe. It only takes a few drops. And now, we'll mix the dough and give the dough a little rest under the foil. I'm not sure you have enough time to cook this dish. I have everything under control. It's time to roll out the dough. It's the hardest job, but I can do it. And now, I'll take a special knife and cut the dough into strips. Look how soft it is! I'm sure my dish will turn out very tasty. I sprinkle the dough with flour. Well, that's all. You can boil it. I'll throw it into boiling water, stir it, and wait. The main thing is not to let pasta stick together. Now you can put it on a plate. And now I'll prepare the dressing. In my opinion, seafood goes completely great together with pasta. I'll just fry some small octopuses. Huh? It looks a little strange. You don't understand it. It's high cuisine. I'll add the sauce and that's it. Bobby will definitely appreciate it. I think my boy likes ketchup better. Uh, uh, Jane, what are you doing? I'm trying to get spaghetti out of the pen. Doesn't look like pasta at all. Whether I got a pasta casserole. I think it's better to throw it away. Oh, I came up with an idea! I'll take some Chinese noodles. Bobby always loves them. I'll open it as spices and pour boiling water. That's how I like it to cook. It looks pathetic. And in my opinion, pretty good. Wow, so many dishes. My eyes are running wild. Don't even know where to start. Mm, I hate octopuses. They're scary. But I like pasta with ketchup. I love the sauce. Mm, I think Granny did it. Chinese noodles are a pleasant surprise. I've always liked it. Oh no! They're so spicy! Oh, actually, it's pretty good. I think they're gonna win. Thank you! What does my boy want now? There, cook me some chips. Whatever you say, kid. I have no idea what to do. Don't worry, Jane. First, you need to peel the potatoes. And now we cut them as thin as possible. Pour some oil. And it'll create a delicious crispy crust. Turn on the stove at full power and send the potatoes to the frying pan. 
seems like nothing complicated. Thanks, Grandma. I'll try it. I'll take the potatoes and peel them. Seems I'm doing something wrong. Mm, why do I have such a small piece left? Although, I think it won't affect the taste. So, now we can pour the oil. I turn on the tile and lay out the potatoes. No, Jane! Don't do this! Oh, How hot! I was doing with oil! It was necessary to lay out carefully. Quick cover yourself. Cooking is clearly not your thing. Come on, you'll see it will turn out well. Jane, because of you, I got distracted and almost forgot about my dish. Mm, my dish are gonna be special again. We're gonna make them out of tortillas. Thanks to this, they'll be even more crispy and delicious. I send the sliced tortillas to the hot oil. <laughs> Look how it sizzles. What you need. That's all. You can get it. Just like real nachos. Only spices are missing, but I'll fix that. First, you need to serve the dish. I put the toasted pieces on a black plate. Instead of spices, I'm gonna take some cheese. How delicious it flows. It is very difficult to resist and not try. I'll add some vegetables for decorations, and that's all. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also need lime juice. It'll set off the taste. Look at how perfect it is. I'll put them on a plate. Wow, wow. I won't refuse such a dish either. But my potatoes don't look good. Do I really have to throw everything away again? Wait, I've come up with something. You need to add spices. They will hide all the flaws. I'll put the potatoes in a bowl and spring generously on top. Mm -hmm. Looks a little better already. Yeah. I'll mix it up and… That was fun. Let's put it on a plate. I see you're all doing your best. Ooh. Bon appetit, Bobby. <laughs> Try it. Well, I'll start with this. Ugh, yeah. how many spices? I don't like mm -hmm. it. This dish looks prettier. Okay. Whoa, what do I see? Wow. Nachos? Well, I definitely didn't expect this. Oh, no. it's cheese sauce. I hate it. So the middle one wins. <laughs> oh, thank you, my boy. <laughs> wow. These are real cakes. That's right, Jane. Use them to make me a cake. Wow, I want to get down in business right away. Okay. I have no doubt because you're still my sweet tooth. That's why Grandma is great at making any dessert. White sponge cake is best combined with buttercream. As you can see, my dish already looks delicious. The main part of the work is done. You need to properly smooth out the cream. And now I'm going to decorate my cake with chocolate bars. Bobby loves them. What else would I add? Came up with something. These airy candies. It looks perfect. You can't think of anything better. I will make bright accents in the form of Skittles. That's it. The last candy. Isn't that a miracle? It's not bad for homemade baking, but it doesn't compare to my dessert. It deserves the best pastry shops and friends. Have you noticed how confident my movements are? All these years of work in the kitchen. Now we need to cut the cake exactly in half. I'll add some cream on top. And it looks simple so far, but it's not over yet. Believe me, I'll bring it to mind. I put the other half of the cake on top, like this, and cut out the middle. And now I'll put this on its side. Does it remind you of anything? Soon I'll add color, and you'll understand everything. Purple, blue, yes, it's a real rainbow! As you can see, I did all the work for a reason. Give me a little more time and you will be amazed. Emma, you've come up with some nonsense as usual. Admit it, you're just jealous of me. Look how smooth the cream is. It's a real sight. Um, I was staring and completely forgot about my cake. I need to finish it urgently. Looks like kind of strange. How can I fix it? An idea. Okay. It's worth a try because it won't get any worse anyway. Don't understand. Why do you need this thing on top? It's a secret. You'll see everything. Hmm? How do you like it? Wow. Very unexpected. I hope Bobby likes it. My boy, we have everything ready. 
Yeah, it's time to treat yourself to dessert. With pleasure! How many sweet things! Wow, a real rainbow! It tastes just divine! Great, Emma! Good job! And there's a lot of chocolate in this cake! Also delicious! Grandma, it's super! The last cake is left! It looks like a huge iceberg of ice! So much cream! But still the victory goes to Emma! There it is! It's time for the last round! I want cacao with marshmallows! I think it's easy to make a drink! This is my finest hour! Don't jump to conclusions, Jane! Nobody does it better than granny! I'll need selected milk and saturated cacao powder! I'll put more so that the taste is as chocolatey as possible! And now I'll mix it properly with a whisk! This will get rid of lumps! And um, there's still not enough chocolate! Let's add a whole bar! I'll break it into pieces! Grandma, it looks great! <laughs> I told you, I have no equal in cacao! I'll pour it into my favorite mug! And that's done! Okay. You're happy early, Grandma! You've never tasted my cacao! Just look at this texture! Mm, perfect! And no milk! Just cream! I need to blend it properly with a mixer to get a gentle foam! And now, I'll put it on top! I almost forgot about marshmallows! And a little chocolate sauce on top! Well, I admit it, it's impressive! Believe me, even I can cook it! It seems that something is missing! That's right, whipped cream! We need to add more! Bobby will definitely like it! What if we also take some Oreos? I think it'll be very nice to crunch in your mouth! A little candy won't hurt either! Waffle tubes, chocolate syrup, and sprinkles for beauty! Perfect! It's definitely done! Help yourself, Bobby! Wow. Not bad, not bad! Awesome. You continue to please me! Whoa, there's so many sweets on top! You can drink and have a snack at the same time! Perfect balance! But I won't stop! Oh, Grandma, it's your mug! Mm, the drink is so-so! I wanna wash it down with something! I think this'll do! Oh, it's quite rich! But still I like the first drink more! I'm the best! If you know how to cook, then share your signature dish in the comments! We will definitely use it next time!